Hello everyone. As you know, a new report has been launched by Foreign Affairs Committee about the uh, uh, relation with Turkey. We'll discuss the report with uh, Kerim Balci, a, a veteran journalist from Turkey. He's, he's going to be joining me from uh, London. Um, uh, Mr. Balci, uh, this report was expected for some time and it had a, a, a wide pool of uh, people contributing to, to the report. Uh, very rarely happening, the Gulen movement uh, has given oral and written evidence and the government gives its own evidence and the Kurdish party also presented its, its issues with the report. Um, how do you find the report? Did you have a chance to read it? Yes, indeed. You know, uh, the report is unique in the sense that uh, people from uh, the Gulen movement have also contributed, uh, witnessed uh, in the commission. Uh, it is also uh, unique in the sense that this is the very first document that is a written uh, official document about how a country, a government, or politicians from a government does regard what happened on uh, the night of the coup. Up until now, we have heard like the German uh, intelligence chief or the Congress intelligence uh, group chief speaking from the United States uh, and telling that the evidence or the so-called evidence that are uh, presented to them by the Turkish government are not actually convincing about uh, the involvement of the Gülen movement or Mr. Gülen himself, uh, but these were just uh, declarations, nothing written or nothing publicly uh, declared, uh, written document was uh, made public up until now. This is the very first public document from the United Kingdom, and in fact it is coming from a country that I would suggest uh, would be one of the last countries to do so, because as the report itself also underlines, the United Kingdom has taken a distinctive approach to the events that happened on the 15th of July and up until very recently decided, the Foreign uh, and Commonwealth uh, Office decided to uh, accept whatever the Turkish government presented them as uh, facts, I will say in brackets, uh, as they are. Uh, for the first time, the United Kingdom is in fact reviewing its foreign policy with regards to what is going on in Turkey. The report is not only about the uh, July the 15th night, of course, but the report uh, covers lots of other issues, human rights issues. Okay. Uh, in that sense, it is a valuable contribution to what happened. I, I have to underline one fact. Okay. We are coming to the very point that Mr. Fethullah Gülen uh, suggested on the on the day after the uh, thwarted coup. Then Mr. Fethullah Gülen suggested that interne an international neutral commission should be set up uh, and that commission should decide what happened on that night and he said that we will readily agree whatever decision that commission gives. And here we have an international commission, a neutral commission at least, that has listened to both sides uh, and, and gave a, a decision, and the decision is certainly underlining the fact that the evidence, or the so-called evidence, presented to the modern world by the Turkish government is not convincing at all. Okay, so, but wh why, why today, after nine months passed from the coup attempt? Uh, I, I do understand they take their time, they, they make their presentation, but why in a, in a, in a weekend, you know, do, do, before the referendum? Is there is there a timing in here? No, there, are, there is in fact a, a further timing uh, calculations here. The chief of the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, member of the parliament, uh, Crispin Blunt, is going to be tomorrow in Antalya uh, joining the uh, joint Turk British-Turkish Tatlıdil uh, meeting. The Tatlıdil meeting has been done for more than five years now. It was established by the former president of Turkey uh, and uh, Abdullah Gül, and, and he still resides as, as the president. Former uh, Foreign Minister Yashar Yakış is a member of the Tatlı uh, Association, and this is uh, one of the most successful uh, public uh, diplomacy attempt by the Turkish government in the last five years. And the Tur British side uh, definitely uh, 
put the date on the on the night. You know, the, the, the document is still embargoed and it will be public by the time the uh, MP, British MP will be in Antalya. They certainly want this, want this to be a public issue tomorrow in Turkey. Uh, and also the, 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 the wording of the document is quite blunt. You know, it, it does say a lot of things to, uh, to the Turkish side. Yeah, it's I, said, I yes. I was mm -hmm. going to ask that. I was going to ask that. You know, like in terms of recommendations as conclusions, maybe we need we need to do a more in depth analysis of, of of each topic. It's a very interesting read, but in terms of its recommendations, how would you sum up what is what is highlighted? Do you think in there? Well, the the final uh, sentence of the uh, committee report says that the committee recommends that Turkey is listed as a human rights priority country. And, this and, is a and exactly what does it mean? You know, human uh, first of all, it's, 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 it's a shameful, shameful position for Turkey to be uh, recommended to be uh, listed as a human rights priority country. Turkey has never been there uh, in the history of uh, FCO, Foreign Commonwealth Office, uh, preparation of human rights report, as is with many uh, uh, Western countries. Uh, Western countries do prepare human rights reports all about the about the world, uh, unique to uh, the UK Foreign Affairs uh, Ministry. They do make a um, report part for particular countries. Uh, the, in the latest report in 2016, meaning including 2015, uh, there were 30 countries in that list. Uh, and the recommendation is to take Turkey into those um, among those 30 countries. I will give just a few names. You know, Saudi Arabia is there, Iran is there, Syria is there, Egypt is there, Russia is there, uh, but no Western country at all. All, all. all usual suspects. But but yes. apart from that, you know, like why does Tur Turkey have to be bothered, or is there any implication on the ground in Turkey of being on that list, for instance? What 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 will it change? In terms well, of in, British in fact, relations well, to Turkey, uh, well, uh, th th that might be that might sound just a symbolic issue. But the point is, uh, f t Turkey's position will be moved from a country that is uh, primarily a, co a, a, a country that is collaborated on the fight against terrorism into a country that needs to be uh, given a special eye about its treatment to the uh, treatment of human rights. So in that sense, from now on, uh, the United Kingdom Foreign Office is going to look at Turkey from a different perspective. Uh, from this human is human rights perspective. From, hum from, from human rights perspective. Up until now, it was basically uh, a, a member in the NATO alliance, uh, a, a, an ally in the fight against terrorism and against, of course, uh, migration wave. Uh, suddenly, Turkey's position is moving. The perception of Turkish government is moving from uh, a, an ally into a problematic country. Uh, certainly, Turkey wouldn't be wouldn't wouldn't like to be in the same list with Iran and Saudi Arabia with regards to the UK policies. So, in that sense, it's actually the one of the biggest uh, highlight of the report. Then, because uh, we can understand German intelligence office saying that we're not convinced that Gulen or or, or Gulen related people are organized the coup. And the others, they have all motives to say that because they have a recent uh, dispute with Erdogan uh, about Nazi and, uh, and other comments. But Britain has so far been very, very receptive to Turkish uh, Turkish government. And actually, Theresa May, uh, I think, visited one of the earliest, you know, visited Turkey as one of its earliest visits. And she was harshly criticized because she favoured the trade deals instead of human rights abuses. So coming from UK, it makes a big, big deal, uh, this, this sort of an, an announcement, a report. But apart from that, what does really report says, you know, concludes about, uh, let's say, Gulen involvement in the coup attempt? Well, the report clearly says uh, that it is obvious some uh, members, individually members of Gulen movement, uh, have uh, been involved with the coup attempt, but says again there is no clear evidence about involvement of Gulen movement uh, en masse as a group or its leader. Uh, the report uses the term about Mr. Petrolak Gulen. Uh, the report says up until now the FCO, the Foreign Affairs uh, Ministry here, 
uh, didn't regard freelance movement as a terrorist organization, and we endorsed this position, that says the report. Well, which, which means, which does it mean that, for instance, because there, there was a dispute, you know, in, in Turkish government always claimed, we, we used to claim these people are terrorists, uh, but you used to say they didn't use weapons, and there you go, 15th of July, they used weapon. this makes them terrorist organization. Now, this also retracted, no, we don't consider them doing this either. So we don't consider them as a terrorist organization uh, now or before or, or at this moment. It, 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 does that mean that as well or, you know? That, that certainly suggests that uh, we endorse the foreign policy of United Kingdom uh, in the sense that Gulen movement has done nothing uh, uh, that will uh, label it as a terrorist organization. It shouldn't be a position in the future. In fact, the report not clearly uh, puts a name, but says the Foreign Affairs uh, Ministry, FCO, uh, of United Kingdom must help Turkey reinforce accountable state institutions, meaning we have to work with the Turkish government, yes, but also develop ties far beyond them. The UK needs a deeper and therefore more durable relationship with the Turkish people, whichever background they hold, while working to uphold the values of human rights and democracy that benefit them all. Well, having this paragraph in a report that was mainly uh, you know, delegated to the issue of the uh, Gulen movement and its relationship with the Turkish government, suggests that the United Kingdom government is going to and has to, if, if of course these recommendations are uh, converted into accurate policies, uh, is going to be involved, uh, engaged with the Gulen movement or his net movement as we prefer to call it, uh, because uh, this movement is also uh, an actor in the fight against terrorism. It is a shame on us uh, as, as the Hizmet uh, volunteers uh, that the report itself also underlines the, uh, min the the least amount of information by the uh, Foreign and Commonwealth uh, Office. The report criticized the UK Foreign uh, Ministry for having not enough information about the Gulen movement, and in fact suggests to have more information to be to engage them more in the process of uh, improving human rights support of Turkey. So. Two other issues, I think, you know, like I want to ask your opinion on how the report, you know, concludes in, in those matters. One is the Kurdish issue and the other is the mass arrest, you know, uh, and long judicial process, you know, like mainly human rights violations across the border against the opposition in, in a sense. What do, you, what do you read? How do you see that? Well, the report is clearly a, a neutral report and the report suggests that uh, the fact that uh, many people were unemployed or arrested without clear evidence, in some cases even without any uh, uh, right to see what kind of evidence is being uh, put in front of them, uh, against them. Uh, so uh, the rule of law is, is suspended in Turkey. The report makes this clear. Uh, and the fact that it has already been you know, almost a year now uh, nothing uh, concrete, no, no concrete decision is given. And about the uh, evidences that the Turkish courts are taking serious, the report says these are basically, you know, uh, newspaper clips and so on. Uh, these cannot be real uh, uh, evidences. So there is a criti criticism about the nature of the rep uh, of the evidences that the Turkish government is presenting to the Western world or to, to the to the general world also. And, and it does the say, issue, then, you know, yeah, it does issue. say it does say first of all, despite the fact that the uh, United Kingdom stood by Turkey after the coup, the Turkish government unfortunately converted this uh, support into a kind of uh, overall uprooting uh, operation, uprooting of the Gulen movement. And unfortunately, it says this uprooting operation actually turned, uh, you know. Uh, into the Kurdish uh, groups uh, dismay, uh, and the Kurds are being uh, suppressed by this uh, very Turkish government also. So in that sense, uh, the uh, report does not see the Gulen uh, movement's uh, purge or suppression in Turkey as a unique event. In instead, it is 
seen as an overall part of the overall human rights uh, problems of Turkey. 